This is just a brief update with the work we've been doing with the Travel Buddy, which is a little 12 volt oven. Now one of the things that we'd seen on other videos about this product was the fact that the cigarette lighter adapter that comes with it is prone to melting. And uh, surprise, surprise, we found out it's exactly the same problem we've had. You can see the top of that has already started to show some signs of deterioration due to heat. So what we're going to do is replace the plug that comes with it with an Anderson plug. These things can take a lot of power draw so we think that's probably going to solve the problem. We are using a fused line in any case so the fuse that comes built in to the cigarette lighter adapter isn't required. We've got our own fuse on the line. Always important to have fuses on any items you want to install. As you can see the plug itself is actually reasonably robust but really when you're doing long power draws and there's a lot of power going through the line inevitably you're going to get some sort of heating so I really don't know why they don't just put these on as standard. It would be a much better idea than using a cigarette lighter adapter. Even in cars the adapters themselves are really not rated highly enough. Uh, the great majority of them are only rated to about 15 amps. These uh, can, the Anderson plugs can be rated to 50 amps which is exactly what our line is rated to. So we'll make the connectors match the line so that should take away any chance of this ever melting and having some sort of catastrophic failure. Now we have our own method of dealing with connecting Anderson plugs. What we do is we get some solder we load that into the top of the Anderson plug connector, if I can get it all in at the same time. I'm using some helping hands here which are very useful for this sort of work. Have the line that I'm going to use close by. Make sure the wire is reasonably thick so we usually fold it over on itself. And we just use a burner to get that heated up. And it may take a little while to cool down enough. And there you have it. Needs a little bit longer just to cool down and once that's cooled you just push it into place inside the cover and we repeat the process for the wire in the car and that's the job done and I don't think after we've installed that we're going to have any more problems with overheating. Just make sure those ends are clipped in you can always remove them later if you really want to do anything and check the insides of it for any reason at all. But that's it. It won't come loose. Almost impossible to pull it loose. Very strong connections and uh, high amperage rating. So once the other end's done in the car, we will be doing another test just to make sure that we don't have this problem And you can see just the tip of that has started to melt and uh, at the time we were just heating up a couple of pies. Perhaps the fact that we've been testing this a fair bit has already led to that becoming a problem but uh, that should now be a problem that we don't have to face anymore with the Anderson plug.